There are a lot of impressive structures in the States. Many of them are so popular in China that you can find many replicas in the various parts of the country. For example, there are probably more Capitol Hill buildings in China than there are in the U.S. And now the newest architectural darting to come out of Weibo that has gotten the attention of many Weibo users is the Moro Royal Pavilion in Las Vegas. Now the mansion looks pretty awesome. But what makes it stand out from all the other similar looking mansions is that Moro Royal Pavilion is made of thousands of pounds of recycled glass from beer bottles. That's right, the mansion is made from trash. And it is currently a 30,000 foot manufacturing facility that saved an estimated 400,000 cubic yards of landfill space, which is enough to fill eight football fields to the tops of the goal posts. Now, it's made from half a million crushed beer bottles, which were made into green stone, a composite of recycled glass aggregate and fly ash that is similar to sandstone and constructed at a cost of $1.4 million. Hmm, so I guess my goal of making one by myself by rummaging through Beijing's garbage bins is probably out of the question. Now, Weibo users were thoroughly impressed with the structure. However, there were some concerns as to whether the building could live up to safety regulations. Let's take a look at some comments. Wow, I can't tell it's made from garbage at all. If this is made from recycled beer bottles, then I wonder about its safety. Using something worthless to make something with value, I think that's definitely something we can learn from. Oh my god! 1.4 million dollars. Being environmentally friendly is not cheap. The impressive building was created by Las Vegas entrepreneur Scott McComb, who wanted to create an extremely green structure. Now, Chinese designers have also created extremely green buildings, but of course, it has more characteristics that would make it work in China. For example, a 24 year old Chinese student from Hunan built what the internet dubbed the egg house. The student named Fei thought that rent in Beijing was too high, so to cut back on costs, he built his very own environmentally friendly mobile home that only cost $960 to construct. The egg house is made from a bamboo frame covered with various insulation materials and topped with a layer of stuffed bags. The bags themselves are filled with sawdust and grass seeds, which he sprays with water regularly to help the grass grow. Inspired by the grass-covered roofs of Norway, Faye believes that the grass helped offer his home greater protection. On the inside of the egg house are all the necessary facilities for living, including a small bed, a small sink, a lamp powered by small solar panels, and even a tiny bookshelf. Now, Faye has become somewhat of a local celebrity and said that his quality of life has greatly improved after living out on the streets in his egg house for two months. He moved his mobile home just across the street from work and is able to occasionally indulge in luxuries with the money he saved from rent. And as for washing, well, he uses the public toilet and takes showers at the local gym. But enough about the egg house. Let's get back to the glass house and see what else Chinese Weibo users have to say about it. I think the cost of building this thing is much more than the value of recycling those bottles. I bet the carbon emissions involved in creation of the building material is much more harmful to the environment than the bottles save themselves. Wouldn't it be more energy efficient to use just regular building material? Beer bottles are recycled to make new beer bottles. Why use it to make a mansion? Not building a mansion is probably more environmentally friendly. Well, you really can't please everybody. Now, recycling is still a rather new concept in China, practiced in some communities. Currently, the garbage cans in China are labeled between recyclables and non-recyclables. However, it will still take some time, perhaps even a generation, for people to make recycling into a habit.